Good evening, the New York State Cannabis Control Board holding its first public meeting this afternoon. Good evening, I'm Hannah Bueller. And I'm Febin Kassoon. The five member board is responsible for approving the framework for the state's cannabis industry, including licensing businesses. Now, according to original projections, the legalization of recreational marijuana is expected to generate $350 million yearly in tax revenue and create some 60,000 jobs. Local municipalities have until the end of the year to opt in or opt out of allowing dispensaries to open in their jurisdiction. Those that opt out will not get a share of the tax revenue. It's the first of many, a public meeting by the newly appointed New York State Cannabis Control Board. This really sets New York's law apart from all the other states that have legalized adult use marijuana. Newly appointed board member Jen Metzger has worked with hemp and CBD on the legislative side. Now on the regulatory side, she and the five member board are hoping to advocate for sustainable practices. I think it offers huge opportunities to um, our farmers, including small farmers, young farmers, historically underrepresented farmers and farmers who have been struggling economically. The board announced the rollout of the enhancement of the medical cannabis program involving whole flour, which will take effect immediately. Whole flour is an approved form of medical cannabis product. Any practitioner who has a license to prescribe a controlled substance is able to certify medical patients. Additionally, the patient and caregiver $50 registration fee is permanently waived. The goal is to increase patient participation. The amount of approved medical cannabis that may be dispensed to a certified patient or designated caregiver increases from a 30-day supply to a 60 day supply. The approval for facilities such as hospitals, residential facilities and schools to become designated caregiver facility um, sites will be streamlined. This will make the administration of medical cannabis easier for patients who go to those facilities. The Marijuana Legis uh, Regulation and Taxation Act, also known as MRTA, was signed into law on March 31st, but the board was unable to establish New York's market until September 22nd when the full cannabis board was appointed. Because of this, the board has a six-month delay to make up. Now, there is no word tonight on when that board meeting will meet again.